Storytellers! Hi, boys and girls! Today we're going to add another piece to our anchor chart. What can I write about? So this week we wrote, I can write about things I love. We added that. And then we added, I can write about things I know how to do. So today we're going to write, I can write about things I know. Things I know. So I want you to close your eyes and tell me about something that you know all about. Okay? Something we know all about. Let's see what symbol I'm going to do. So here it is on my chart. I can write about things I know. And I'm going to draw a smiley face for that. Here I am, my purple smiley face, okay? So what I want you to do is close your eyes and think about something that you know, okay? What I want you to do now is I want you to whisper about something you know a lot about. Good, and I want, I want you to do now is whisper about something else you know a lot about. Good job. Do you know that teachers learn things from you guys? Yeah, we learn things all the time when we get to read your stories, okay? Um, like I said yesterday, there's lots of times that I learn things about friends that tell stories about farming and friends that tell stories about riding their dirt bikes and their four-wheelers or writing about stories about Avengers. I don't know anything about the Avengers, Okay, so when you write a story about four wheelers or you write about a story about Avengers, I don't know a lot about that topic. So I learned something new. So today I'm going to think about something that I know a lot about and that I could teach you. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to think about a topic that you know a lot about and that you can teach me. So my topic that I'm going to teach you about is dandelions. Have you guys ever, do you guys know what a dandelion is? Those are like the weeds that grow out in, on your front um, yard during the summertime and they're yellow, okay? Some of you might pick a lot of them, right, out. And you might even think they're a flower, but they're actually a weed. So I'm going to tell you today that dandelions at nighttime, they close up. And then during the day, they open up. Did you know that before? That's something that Mrs. Wallace learned about a long time ago. So I'm going to write, dandelions can open and shut. Oh, dandelions is a really hard word. Are you guys ready? Okay, so I'm gonna write, dandelions, duh, duh, duh. Very good, D. Oh, and look how I made an uppercase D because it's the start of my sentence. So remember, when we start our sentence, it's always an uppercase letter. Duh, a, 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 apple, a, n, a, nut, n, dan, d, 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 dandelions. That's a really long word, dandelions, okay? Then my next word is gonna be the word can. Can, can is gonna be a sight word that we learned this year. K -k -k. Good, C, cat, k, k, a, 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 apple, a, n, 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 dandelions, space, can space open oh oh ooh it's a long go oh p p p p pan p good job oh p i i i i itch i n n n n so we have Dandelions can open. We need sight word and. Who remembers how to write sight word and? Very good. A and D. A and D. 
dandelions can open and close. Close. Let's tap out the word close. K -k -k. C cat. K -k. Oh, oh. L lamp hole. Oh. There's our long go. Close. Very good. S snakes. And then we have a period to tell us er, our sentence is done. Let's read it. Dandelions can open and close. Very good. Now I'm going to draw a picture so I can show you guys how they do that. So actually I'm going to draw a split picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line down the middle here. And over here, I'm going to show you how it's daytime. And over here, I'm going to show you how it's nighttime. Because the dandelions open during the day and they close at night. I'm going to get my green to show you the grass. The grass stays the same. It doesn't change whether it's daytime or nighttime out. So I'm going to draw grass all the way across the bottom. Okay? The stem of the dandelion also does not change. It stays green. Okay? Now I'm going to draw a sun on one of the pictures. to show it's daytime and then over here I'm gonna draw a moon in the sky to show it's nighttime and I'll draw also a black sky so we my my readers know it's nighttime outside okay so see pretty cool how I can draw a line and then draw two different separate pictures. Now I'm going to show the dandelion. So during the day, the dandelion middle is yellow, but then at nighttime it closes. So all we see is it's green when it closes. See how it's green? Awesome job. So what you're going to do today is you're going to get out your writing piece and you're going to teach us about something that you know about. Okay, so maybe it's about four wheelers. Maybe it's about farming. Maybe it's about an animal. Maybe it's about your dog. I cannot wait to see what you guys are going to teach us all about. So what I want you to do is get out your writing paper and your writing tools, maybe your markers, your pencil, your crayons, whatever you want. And you can snap a picture when you're done so you can 